hello mariners hope you guys are doing well so well in this video uh, we are going to just have a, some questions and answer of the exit exam on tasco it's your advanced tanker familiarization course so we will just have a 30 samples of questions that is a past asked questions we'll just go through that please be till end and watch the entire video do subscribe like and share with your friends for any more video uh, do comment in the comment box for any specific exit exam questions and I will try to make video on that as fast as possible. So let's continue with question number one. So the first is your cleanage means it's uh, oil remaining on the wall of a pipe or on that internal surface of the tanks after the bulk of the oil has been removed. So it's true or false. So it is true. Let's further move to question number two. So it's a flame screen is used for preventing spark from entering a tank or a vent opening. So it is also true. You will find out there is a flame screen and there is a frame arrester. So the purpose of flame screen to prevent spark from entering to the tank or the vent where is opening. So let's move to question number three. It's a oxygen contained and the pressure of the inert gas men not to be continuously recorded during discharge operation. So this is false. Because during discharge operation or whenever your inert gas system is getting started, all recording should be done. There is a record paper on your IG panel so that everything has to be recorded accordingly. So for that, that this answer is false. Okay, so question number four. It's an enclosed space means a space which has the following characteristics. Limited opening for entry and exit, many opening, no opening, none of the above. So the most suitable answer for enclosed spaces that is your limited opening for entry and exit. Also if you uh, go for the enclosed space uh, uh, system that what does enclosed space mean. So they includes a lots of point but here it is only one is given so we will prefer with the we will go with the point number A. Answer A. <coughs> okay so question number 5. It's uh, talking about your entry permit is valid for a for a specific time interval for 24 hour or till completion so for that uh, the answer is not given exact basically the permits are only for 8 hours and uh, some permits are for 12 hour but the option is not as per 8 or 12 so we'll just go for the specific time that is answer A will be the more exact answer or you can say the closer to that the rest all does not uh, verify to the permit so that's where the answer will be A let's move to the question number six that is flash point is defined as so the a option is the lowest temperature at which a liquid gives off a sufficient gas to form a flammable gas mixture the highest temperature at which a liquid gives off the sufficient gas to form a flammable mixture the lowest temperature at which your pb valves will open and allow excess gas vent so the answer will be a it is the lowest temperature at which a liquid gas off sufficient gas to form a flammable mixture okay it's the lowest temperature it's not the highest temperature and the lowest pressure at which pv valves operate it is known as your pressure side of the pv valve so the answer will be your a i hope you guys are getting all these shots if still any confusion or a miss uh, like you thinks that any confusion with the questions related to anything you guys are requested to drop your messages and i will just go through the messages and i will reply there only Let's move to the question number seven. A sudden increase in the pressure of the liquid in a pipeline brought about an abrupt change in the flow rate is called. Option A is your pressure surge. Option B is your power point. Option th C is your low low pressure. So the answer will be your pressure gauge. This is the answer. It's a definition for the pressure gauge to a sudden jerk in the pressure due to the in the pipelines due to the flow of the liquid whichever is transferring. So that is known as your pressure surge we'll move with the next question the introduction of an inert gas into a tank which is already in the inert condition with the object of raising the tank pressure to prevent any ingress of air winds topping off topping up purging gas fling the answer will be a topping up topping off is the term we used to give when we are about to completion of the loading Purging everyone is familiar that uh, to lower the content of CH gas and gas frings to gas free the tank with respect to the other gases and we gas free the tank it means we are introduce introducing a fresh air into the tank so that a uh, per person can work in that tank.
I hope you guys are getting all these shots. We will move with the question number nine. That is your ASTM table fifty four A is used for the following cargo calculation. So the options are chemical, product, crude oil. So answer is your fifty four A is for the crude oil. Okay, so let's move to question number ten. It talks about your enclosed space entry permit should be rendered invalid if the ventilation of the space stops. So yeah, it's exactly true. Ah, uh, this permit, the enclosed space permit, are only valid when the entire procedure, the there should be a continuous ventilation process. If at any moment it stops the ventilations, the permit get in invalid. So that's true. Your next question is question number eleven. The gases from the most petroleum liquids are heavier than air and inert gas, lighter than air and inert gas, same as air and the inert gas. None of the above. So the answer is you are heavier than air and inert gas. Why it is? Because if your inert gas is heavier, then it will just go to the down of that, and so it will not it will not eliminate the one of the fire triangle. So that's why from the understanding, it's a common sense kind of thing that you can easily identify. That's the reason your uh, uh, your the <coughs> petroleum sir gases are higher than your inert gas and air. Okay, so question number twelve. The personnel should be required to wear respiratory equipment under the following circumstances: when TLV, TWA specified by national or the international authorities are exceeded or are likely to be expected; when monitoring cannot be carried out; when closed operation cannot be conducted for any reason, and H two S concentration should exceed the TLV and TWA. So the answer uh, D is your all of the above. The uh, then T W uh, that's your personal should be required to wear your respiratory T L V. Everyone knows so that is why the all answers are suitable or according to these conditions. So the answer will be B. It's all above the all the above. Uh, let's move to the question number thirteen. So this equipment should be calibrated using nitrogen or a carbon dioxide to purge the sample cell for a zero checks and with air. At twenty one oxygen for spent gas. So for that it is talking about which kind of instru instrument is this? So it is it a HC detector? So no, it's not a HC detector. Is it a tank scope? So no, it's not a tank scope. Oxygen analyzer? Yes, it is oxygen analyzer because in oxygen analyzer we use nitrogen or carbon dioxide for your spent gas or zero checks. So that is your oxygen analyzer. So the answer will be your C. And D is on none of the above because not because we are getting the answer. Okay, let's move to question number fourteen. After the last entry is made in a oil record book, shall be kept on board for a period of three year, five year, ten year, none of the above. So the answer for this will be A. Ah, uh, either it's a oil record book part one or oil record book part two, irrespective of which part it is. Once the entry is made for your record books. It should be on board from the date when the last entry is made on the books till the three years. After that, your books can be uh, used. Uh, means it cannot be required to be on board. Okay. So now next question number is fifteen. The permit to work system includes the following documents to control hazards activities. So a work instruction, a maintenance procedures, a local procedure, all of the above. So the answer is all of the above. The things it is talking about the permit to work system, like a work of the like like uh, you're talking about the permit to work. So in which all documents, which all things it's required, has RDS activity. So the answer will be all of the above. Uh, question number sixteen. A centrifugal pump should be started by keeping discharge valve open, keeping suction valve shut, keeping discharge valve shut. Does not matter the valve status. So the point number D is not correct because the one valve should be stopped. The answer will be your C. Like if uh, because if we keep the discharge valve open, so there is a chances of the cavitation and cavitations can form and tripping of the pump. If you will uh, shut the suction valves, so it's not going to shock and again the chances of the cavitations and your impellers get affected due to that. So the option, the answer, the correct answer will be C. Now the question number seventeen. The mixture of hydrocarbon gases with respect to air is heavier, lighter, mostly heavier, none. So the answer will be A. It's heavier. I think no required for the discussion for this question. Let's move to the question number eighteen. 
एल एफ एल एंड एच एफ एल फॉर अ मिक्सचर ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन आर ए फाइव परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट बी वन परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट सी टू परसेंट एंड टेन परसेंट डी वन परसेंट एंड टेन परसेंट सो करेक्ट आंसर इज वन परसेंट एंड टेन परसेंट दिस इज योर फ्लेमिलिटी फ्लेमेबल रेंज इफ यू लुक अबाउट योर इफ गो थ्रो योर फ्लेमेबल डायग्राम सो फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द पेट्रोलियम इट्स बिटवीन वन टू टेन दैट इज लोअर फ्लेमेबल लिमिट एंड हायर फ्लेमेबल लिमिट लेट्स मूव टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर ए नाइनटीन सो इट्स अ बेंजिन इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैथिन्स एरोमेटिक्स पैराफिन्स नॉन ऑफ द एब सो इट्स अ केमिकल कंपोजिशन यू कैन से एज बिटिल लिटिल बिट ऑफ आइडिया सो द नेफ्थलिन द पैराफिन्स नॉन ऑफ द एब इज नॉट द एंसर द करेक्ट एंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज योर एरोमेटिक्स एरोमेटिक्स बेंजिन इट्स अ केमिकल फॉर्मेशन एंड इट्स चैन इफ यू लुक्स इफ समन इज हैविंग एनी आइडिया अबाउट दैट सो यू विल आइडेंटिफाई इट्स अ एरोमेटिक ओके सो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज आवर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑयल रिमेनिंग ऑन द वॉल ऑफ पाइप और ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द टैंक इंटेरियर आफ्टर बल्क ऑयल इज रिमूव्ड इज कॉल्ड द ऑप्शन से इनर्टिंग पर्जिंग और द सी इज अ क्लीनेस सो द एंसर इज क्लीनेस दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर यू कैन रिफर विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड द ट्रू फॉल्स दे आर स्टेटेड सो द एंसर इज क्लीनेज ओके लेट्स मूव टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन द फ्लैश पॉइंट ऑफ अ वोलाटाइल फ्लूड इज इट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट पॉइंट ए सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस मोर देन एटी डिग्री सेल्सियस सी इज योर ग्रेटर देन सिक्सटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड डी इज ग्रेटर देन सिक्सटी डिग्री सो द एनी एनी वोलाटाइल मीन्स एनी कार्गो और एनी थिंग हैविंग दिस फ्लैश पॉइंट इज मोर देन सिक्सटी डिग्री दे आर कंसिडर्ड एज अ वोलाटाइल कार्गो ओके सो नाउ विल जस्ट लुक ओवर द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू इट्स अ फॉर्म ऑफ योर आई ओ पी पी इट्स योर इंटरनेशनल ऑयल पोल्यूशन प्रिवेंशन सर्टिफिकेट सेल बी सप्लीमेंटेड बाई अ एज पर वॉट अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इक्विपमेंट अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ओ डी एम ई अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड डैमेज स्टेबिलिटी डाटा डी अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ऑयल फिल्टरिंग इक्विपमेंट ओ डी एम सी एस सो फॉर दिस योर आई ओ पी पी इज फॉर योर कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इक्विपमेंट पार्ट दिस इज आई ओ पी पी इज योर द सर्टिफिकेशन दिस इज गिवेन एज पर द एन एक्स वन एंड एन एक्स वन टॉक्स अबाउट द रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द टैंकर्स एंड डिस्चार्ज एंड अदर थिंग्स सो दैट इज द एंसर विल बी ए लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री आफ्टर वाटर वॉशिंग ऑफ अ कार्गो ऑयल टैंक्स द ऑयली मिक्सचर द सॉरी द ऑयली वाटर रेसिड्यूज मस्ट बी रिसर्कुलेटेड डिस्चार्ज ओवर बोर्ड held into slop tanks so it's a uh, quite uh, very simple questions uh, i hope everyone can answer this sort of questions held into the slop tanks uh, that's all about this uh, questions okay so let's move to the question number 24 before starting a reciprocating pump the suction valve should the discharge valve open the pumps and the stems lines so the answer will be your discharge valve open because a reciprocating pump there is a no chances of cavitation and once it sucks the pressure is directly uh, gonna to uh, start uh, discharging so uh, if your suction if your discharge valve is closed it's going to build up a lots of pressure and it can damage the pumps as well as to the lines may get ruptured so for that reason we need to open our uh, your discharge valve <laughs> Uh, let's move to the question number twenty-five. Water extinguishes the fire by it's a uh, cooling, smothering, starving, or inhibiting. So it's a cooling. Cooling is water is the cooling. Smothering and starving and inhibit inhibiting is not the correct answer. I hope everyone is uh, aware about these terms. What does it means? If you guys having any doubt on these terms, ah, uh, do feel free to comments in the comment box. and i will make uh, another video uh, related to your fire triangles and we i will just explain fire triangle fire tetrahedron and also i will just look over this all four terms so that you guys can understand you guys can have a understanding this is a very basic things on <coughs> every type of shapes and uh, you should know these are terms uh, let's begin with question number 26 uh the inert gas must be delivered in the gas main with a maximum oxygen content of 8% option is a true b false so and the it will be false because the 8% as per is got it should be in the tank but if we talks about the uh line so in the line it should not be less it should not be more than 5% if we deliver the oxygen uh less than 5% in the line 
so till then it reaches to your tanks it can go for any causes or anything if there is enters into the tanks so the requirement in the tank is 8% what is got says also it's a regulation okay just be careful uh, let's move to the question number 27 it talks about your tank must be inerted prior to loading it's true or false so answer is true all your tanks should be inerted means inerted means your oxygen content should be less than 8% what uh, your is got says but it should be less than 4% uh, 3% that as per the company requirement so it means it is a call as inerted or inerting so inerting is a process in which we introduce inert gas uh, to lower the oxygen content so yeah this is true okay so the next question is question number 28 if during washing the oxygen level in the tank exceed 8% by volume washing must be slowed down true or false so it's true because if it is more than 8% so it's not fulfilling the requirement of the Scott and there's a chances of explosion whereas if you refer your uh, flammability diagram as for the explosion we need oxygen at least 11.5 but uh, since uh, we need to follow the hour is got and uh, other requirement because lots of accident has still taken place with respect of your flammability diagram because for a different cargo it may vary so that's why it should stop question number 29 29 prior loading the oxygen level throughout the cargo tanks does not exceed 8% by volume 11% by volume 5% by volume so it's already cleared the answer will be 8% by volume uh, last question number 30 last but not the list if you guys need more questions on Tasco or any kind of exit exam on any modular courses uh, do comment on the channel and definitely I will just make another video and also guys you can join my telegram group that is mariner choice uh, so that we can have a continuous connectivity so the question is your a high velocity vent installed at a height of 2 meter above the deck which causes the vapor to be vented at a speed of 30 meter per second 50 meter per second 100 meter per second none of, none of the above so the correct answer is your a 30 meter per second no need to get any understanding on this it's a requirement so the answer the correct answer is your 30 meter per second so well thank you and thank you everyone and do please do share this video do likes and uh, with your friends uh, see you in the next video with some ex other exit exam questions or some other related topics thank you and jai hind